How does being estranged tie into emotional incest? Well, let's look at five examples of this on today's video. Being estranged from somebody is tough. It can be a difficult journey when we have that feeling inside we're not connected anymore. When I look at the actual definition in Merriam-Webster, it describes having lost former closeness and affection. You're in a state of alienation from a previous close relationship. So I wanna take this broader definition and sort of narrow it down just a bit. I'm going to zoom in more on the alienation aspect of it. There may or may not be former closeness that could be icing on the cake if there was closeness at one time. But right now I just want to talk about the alienation part that connects to emotional incest. So I came up with five ways in how estrangement is always going to be present in some form or fashion if you're a victim of emotional incest. So number one, it starts with the estrangement of the parents. If they're living together, they are just miserable. So there's an estrangement there, right? Then that leads to number two, where now the child, the chosen child, the golden child, the one that's being selected to be taken over by one of these parents. Now the child is going to be estranged from the parent, the one who's no longer involved because they're being taken over by the parent who's stepping in and claiming them for themselves. So they're going to believe more than likely what this parent is saying about the other parent. And of course, most of the time this is garbage because the parent who's taking the child over just simply wants the child for themselves because they're unhappy with some aspect of themselves. And rather than work on the marriage, make that be stronger, they're now going to take over this child to be their mini husband or mini wife. In fact, the estranged parent is now watching this perhaps and feeling more estranged because not only am I not getting along with my significant other, my husband or my wife, but now my child seems to not care for me or like me because the child has taken the side of the parent who's taken them over because of all the BS conditioning they're getting. Now this creates the third estrangement, assuming that there's other siblings in the house. Now they're going to more than likely be estranged from those siblings because they are jealous and resentful of the fact that this one child, their brother or their sister is getting all this attention. Well, hey, what about me? What, what, what's wrong with me? Why are you always taking Marcus with you to go hunting? Why are you always taking Melissa with you to the mall? Of course, the parent is doing that because they've made them be the little husband or wife. And the siblings can see exactly what's going on and they don't like it and rightly so. So they may be blaming their brother or their sister, but of course the brother or sister is just kind of like, I don't know what's going on here. The one being taken over is kind of lavishing in the attention perhaps, not realizing they're gonna pay a big price for this as they get older, but they're not causing this. The parent that's taking them over is causing this, but the siblings are now estranged because they're pissed off at this particular sibling. The fourth estrangement or alienation that may be looming for this so-called golden child is when they get a bit older and start to date and perhaps develop a relationship with somebody. The odds of a child being taken over in this manner without some sort of intervention, some sort of therapeutic help, the odds that they're going to have a healthy relationship are very, very slim because they've never been able to find themselves, be who they are. They have to be the mirror for the parent. So likely, they're going to be estranged at some point from their choice of a romantic partner. Either they're going to run away because they feel so overwhelmed with the attention. Remember, they were raised with no boundary from the parent who's taken them over. So now when their boyfriend or girlfriend is lavishing love on them, why wouldn't they? They're, they're falling in love with them. To a victim of emotional incest, it's like, get me out of here. They don't know what to do with that because love to them, so-called love, equals being taken over. That's what happened with the parents. There were no healthy boundaries. So now more than likely, there's going to be an estrangement from this person who they want to develop a relationship with but they're not capable of it if it's a healthy boyfriend or girlfriend that they happen to be dating the healthy boyfriend or girlfriend may be like i have no idea what's going on here did i do something wrong of course they didn't this is all about the golden child's childhood it's now playing out in ways that's going to cause a lot of possible estrangements in their adult lives, which leads perhaps to the saddest estrangement of it all, which is what happens to victims of emotional incest. For number five, the estrangement with ourself. We don't know ourselves, and so the child as they grow up is not able to develop a caring, loving, warm relationship with themselves. They imagine and just assume, of course there must be something wrong with me because my own parents don't want to seem to get to know me, the real me, the authentic me. I have to be inauthentic to be loved, which of course is going to lead a child to think 
that indeed there is something wrong. If I put on a mask, if I place myself in a role, then I seem to be so-called love. So what does this create? A lot of self-hatred, a lot of self-loathing, which of course can lead into depression, anxiety, and other secondary disorders because of this taking over by the parent in the first place. So if you're an adult watching this and you're a victim of emotional incest, if you haven't worked on this, I would encourage you to get some therapeutic help, examine the impact that being taken over by one of your parents has had on you and how it's caused you to feel more than likely very alienated, isolated, and estranged in your life. So have you been estranged in your life? If so, I'd love to read your comments in the comment section below. Tell a little bit of your story, perhaps. Please subscribe to my mental health YouTube channel if you like these kind of videos. And until next week, this is Brad Shore signing off from Ask a Shrink.